In this hospital outside of Chicago, artificial intelligence has eyes of hearts and goes by the name of Moxie. Thank you. The robot uses AI to navigate hallways potentially filled with patients, gurneys, and doctors, and operates elevators on its own. This is my floor. Its mission, to run routine errands across the hospital so real nurses can spend more time with human patients. I can answer more call lights, I can be in the rooms a little bit more. Moxie fetches lightweight supplies from IV pumps to telemetry boxes. It can also run lab samples and pick up prescriptions from the pharmacy. And when Moxie runs low on power, it finds a charging station on its own. And I don't see it replacing jobs, replacing caregivers, replacing tasks, but letting individuals, letting physicians, letting nurses operate at the top of their license. Andrea Tomas is the CEO and co-founder of Diligent Robotics, Moxie's maker. There are a lot of opportunities for AI and embodied AI to truly augment a strapped and overworked and burdened workforce. I mean, we literally like lived in a hospital for a month and we'd kind of be watching what they're doing and you know, how can this robot work for you? AI in medicine isn't just about robots and efficiency. I think there has been a lot of promise in things like radiology and the ability of artificial intelligence algorithms to examine and analyze scans. But removing humans from medicine is not without risks, especially for those tied on money. Multiple studies have shown people are increasingly using ChatGPT to self-diagnose or use AI in exchange for human therapy. Critics have also raised questions about data security and loss of human empathy, especially when it comes to cost and insurance decisions. One advocacy group estimates about 73 million low-income Americans are exposed to AI decision-making in Medicaid alone. And that's really harmful because one of the key aspects of dignity, of law, of fairness, of due process, is the notion that we get to understand the decisions that are being made about our lives so that we can figure out how to contest them. But back to Moxie, the AI robot is now operating in 25 hospital systems in the U.S. and the company is expanding into senior care facilities soon. AI in five years will be so integrated into not even healthcare but into daily lives that we won't feel it like it's adding AI in, it's just part of our workflows. Yeah.